Welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing the Sun Soul Monk. The Sun Soul Monk is a subclass of the Monk class in Dungeons and Dragons, and it focuses on using Radiant Energy to enhance its combat abilities. Throughout this video, we'll be discussing the abilities gained by this class at each level, as well as some of the best feats to take as a Sun Soul Monk. At level 3, Sun Soul Monks gain their first subclass feature, Radiant Sunbolt. This ability allows the monk to spend one key point to shoot a ranged attack that deals radiant damage. This is a great ability for Sun Soul monks to have, as it allows them to deal damage from range and potentially finish off enemies who are trying to escape. This special attack is a ranged spell attack with a range of 30 feet. You are proficient with it, and you add your dexterity modifier to its attack and damage rolls. Its damage is radiant, and its damage die is a d4. This die changes as you gain monk levels, as shown in the martial arts column of the monk table. At level 6, Sun Soul monks gain the Searing Arc Strike ability. Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend two key points to cast the Burning Hand spell as a bonus action. You can spend additional key points to cast Burning Hands as a higher level spell. Each additional key point you spend increases the spell's level by 1. The maximum number of key points, 2 plus any additional points, that you can spend on the spell equals half your monk level. At level 11, Sun Soul monks gain the ability to radiate their own body with radiant energy, granting them increased mobility and damage. As an action, you magically create an orb and hurl it at a point you choose within 150 feet, where it erupts into a sphere of radiant light for a brief but deadly instant. Each creature in that 20-foot radius sphere must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 2d6 radiant damage. A creature doesn't need to make the save if the creature is behind total cover that is opaque. You can increase the sphere's damage by spending key points. Each point you spend, to a maximum of 3, increases the damage by 2d6. At level 17, Sun Soul monks gain the ability, Sun Shield. You become wreathed in a luminous, magical aura. You shed bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. You can extinguish or restore the light as a bonus action. If a creature hits you with a melee attack while this light shines, you can use your reaction to deal radiant damage to the creature. The radiant damage equals 5 plus your wisdom modifier. Now that we've gone over the Sun Soul Monk's abilities, let's discuss some of the best feats to take as a Sun Soul Monk. Mobile. This feat is great for Sun Soul Monks, as it increases their movement speed and allows them to move in and out of combat more easily. Martial Adept. This feat allows the Sun Soul Monk to learn and use two maneuvers from the Battle Master's list, which can greatly enhance their combat abilities. Tough. This feat increases the Sun Soul Monk's hit points, making them more resilient in combat and allowing them to withstand more damage. Overall, the Sun Soul Monk is a powerful subclass that uses Radiant Energy to enhance its combat abilities. With abilities like Radiant Sunbolt, Searing Arc Strike, Radiant Sunburst, and Sunshield, the Sun Soul Monk is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. By taking feats like Mobile, Martial Adept, and Tough, Sun Soul Monks can further enhance their combat abilities and become even more formidable. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.